the main nearis examination is considered <clears throat> the most so uh so let me first uh, i'll i'll obviously say how to prepare for mains and let me first clarify the marks distribution of questions in mains because many people might not know them know that in mains in current format there uh, uh, happens to be 42 marks questions and 25 marks questions short note type and six marks question so the total marks is 240 and the total time is 180 minutes mm -hmm. 180 minutes that is three hours so just aspirants please listen to this uh, statement of mine that that i'm going to say the main the main uh, funda of clearing mains lies in writing precise and accurate answers within limited times with best possible representation these four things one has to keep in mind preciseness Precision, accuracy, limited time, time management, and best possible representation. I'll break it down. Yes, I'll I'll break it down. How to focus on these four aspects? Uh, for bringing precision, uh, you have to prepare your notes at the time of preparing your prelims, preparing for your prelims, or or the time that the the, the lean period that one gets from um, uh, prelims, writing prelims to writing mains. Uh, one has to make their notes, their own notes. Please don't rely on others' notes. Preparing your own notes itself is a round of, you know, uh, reading, revision kind of. So I would suggest uh, the uh, the aspirants to not rely on others' notes and very carefully, very meticulously prepare your own notes where precision would come along when, you know, the time management is very important. So uh one might not get much time one will not get much time to write one question for one five marks question one will get only 4.5 minute question uh, uh, 4.5 minute time and one a4 page less than one a4 page space and write for writing one 10 marks question one will get uh, nine minutes around nine minutes minutes time and both side of one a4 size uh space wise so please make sure that you don't write more than 10 you don't write more than 10 points in one answer and i'm i'm being very discreet because uh, uh, i mean these are needed for preparation for preparing for mains please don't put more than 10 points in your answer uh, for one five marks question because you won't get time in exam hall so make sure there is and 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 about those 10 points make sure there is no necessary points left in order to and and also the third point is make sure your answer is unique from others at least by one or two points so in order to make your answer unique please don't uh, leave out in necessary basic things that one needs to know about answering one question as for example um if question comes mass write about mass flow and diffusion and you don't even write what is mass flow and what is diffusion and starts and uh, start enumerating the uh, the laws that that will govern uh, from textbook as well as from from uh, uh, research papers that won't do if if please don't leave out on um, uh, important you know basic things that one must write so this is about precision and the second thing is accuracy accuracy will come when one will be clear with their concepts please 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 be clear with your concepts do not focus on what when and where from the very beginning, focus on why and how. Kaise or kyun? Kaise or kyun? Ye sare matlab, matlab, bohat sare questions. Abhi tak to padne ke baad bhi, abhi, jabhi bhi mein koi bhi legendary personality ke saamne jata hoon, jaysay mera sir ho jaya, S.P. Dattar sir, ya S.C. Dattar sir, ya Saraj Kumar Sandal sir, ya bohat sare aise, sabka naam nahi le sakta mein. Matlab, tabhi bhi mujhe, tabhi hi mujhe mahasas hota hai ki kitna kam mein janta hoon. Kyunki abhi bhi bohat baki hai why or how pe kaam karne ka. To please make sure your concepts are clear. कब कौन क्या ये सब what when where ये सब automatically साथ साथ आ जाएगा ठीक है and uh, first thing is clearing concept about accuracy uh, being accurate and second thing about being accurate is how much one can memorize uh, I myself and very other candidates that I have come across they really hate this part and uh, there is nothing to it because uh, uh, there are people whose uh, strength is memorizing so I I completely respect that it is a very difficult thing to do and but but you have to memorize sir will i think yeah, agree with this I part agree.
many of very much memory that are very much having the weight those, those person who's having the high memory memorizing capacity they can perform very well because time is very less na so that will also assist you exactly. in the exam exactly sir so uh, please swallow those who are who, like me or uh, don't like to memorize much so uh, <clears throat> so memorizing is very much needed please do memorize i mean practice memorizing if you are uh, i mean not very much uh, good at that and for memorizing for memorizing you have to do revision one has to go through revision um, my earlier concept i used to used to hate revising but uh, as time passed and uh, as my preparation pre um, ars preparation phase uh, i mean uh, approached near me uh, it it was made clear to me that revision is must and revise and discuss with your friends revision and discussion are what is going to uh, um, strengthen your memory so revision is the heart of writing many will know it's said and a revision is just another step towards perfection these are the quotes that i had to read from internet in order to motivate myself to do the revision that i used to hate so revise and discuss with your friends in order to memorize which comes comes under the accuracy that will makes make your answer accurate now coming to the limited time management because there are time is very limited as i already um, uh, already um, said how much time will be allotted uh, for uh, what kind of question so what will uh, you know sharpen one's time management is the is the is the mind training train your mind in a way the whole throughout the preparation phase that i have to write um, questions accurately but in a very short time train your mind this will this will do a very i mean this will be um, a wonderful help for yourself uh, if you train your mind and secondly practice the write some mock tests for last 10 to 15 days which i could not personally do i wrote mock tests um due to nervousness and anxiety all those things i wrote mock tests for last 5 days i wrote almost 7 uh, or 10 mock tests but at least i will suggest 10 to 15 days devote your 10 to last 10 to 15 days for mock tests that will help you in time management and the fourth part is best possible representation of your answer so for that what one can do is there must be one at least one relevant figure relevant not irrelevant relevant figure line diagram or flow chart Uh, or graph in one hour that will actually help the um, the 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 examinee to know that to, this actually shows the examiner's uh, examinee's understanding the level of understanding if one um, uh, use as less as possible words and put those words through a graph or a model or a diagram or a flow chart please do that this is very much necessary and for two marks question the you will get one will get maximum 30 minutes time 30 to 35 minutes maximum and one has to uh, answer almost 80 uh, uh, fill in the blanks in in soil science it is usually fill in the blanks and true false few uh, so please keep in mind that two marks questions are indicator of of your you know uh, of your quality of how your exam has gone if you have not done good in your two marks question uh it is generally said that your exam has not gone good overall so please be very much very much careful about the two marks question try to score as as much as possible two marks questions are like math mathematics if they are right one cannot um uh, cut your marks and if they are wrong your your marks are gone so please be very careful during and what helped me um uh, prepare for my two marks question is my prelims preparation or those readings and revisions i i read my content once and important uh, uh, topics important units like soil fertility soil chemistry twice so that helped me answer my two marks question in mains examination